Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. Uh, I am Pikeopi and I am very excited today. You see, I have been wanting to play on a Minecraft server from early in the game, play it with a group of people where there's people online as opposed to just one person on occasion when you are. And one of my favorite Minecraft YouTubers, Vintage Beef, has a Minecraft server just for him and Patreons. He's going to be making videos on the server. He really wants to build a, a, a community of people, have fun, do some uh, videos with people on his server, and it's for his Patreons if you uh, donate $15 a month. And I'm really excited because I... Oh, got a little starting room here. My controls are set wrong. Give me a second. Ooh. So this is Vintage Booth's server. It opened up earlier today. It is, I believe, Saturday, December 6th. Oh god, I can't remember how to type. Um, and there's like 50 people online right now, and in one day they've already built this. So I'm excited because, as you know, I want to build stuff, not just for me, but for other people. Have some interactions. So I... I'm absolutely going to try and build a hotel, much like I did in my previous series before that server died to errors. So let's see what we have over here for rules. Vintage, vintage Beef's Patreon server, please read all the rules before it gets started. Be kind and respectful to each other. Well, considering how chat's going, it sounds like there's no software enforcement of that, so hopefully people behave nicely. No griefing still in C part 1. No x-raying, duping, or cheating of any kind. Fair enough. Spawn is reserved for shops. Keep redstone minimal because of lag. Keep the terrain looking natural, beautiful. Vintage beef is very big on how things look overall. If you want to build nearby, someone ask them first and have fun. Okay. Do not travel past 1,000 blocks in the nether. Please do not go into any stronghold if you find one admins in there okay so I'm gonna step out real fast and go to a quick map on the uh, on a server to see exactly what the area around here look it looks like there's an island just to the northwest oh god uh, north being that way let's see if that's right nope north being the exact opposite direction of where I was running so we're going to go and we are going to definitely create a small little kind of like vacation resort. Um, in the previous series I did uh, basically what's going to be the blueprint for this. It was you have some statuary, some nice garden areas, a little bit of shade and shadow. Uh, I think the island's just past that. Let's get rid of these scraggly, scraggly trees that are obviously crap. And leggy. Yay! So supposedly there's a way to vein mine in this. Is it tilled? Okay, so what we wanted to do was to do some vein mining, but apparently it's buggy or something, so it will not work. And the island we want is actually just behind this little pop-marked, scraggly piece of crap. Um, not not that. I mean, it, they probably just logged in, built their own thing, and left. I thought it was going to be bigger. Well, that's not going to work. Um, so we were going, going to have to... I guess the online map doesn't update the terrain that well. Oh, hey, look, that's convenient. Or not. Now let me see if I can turn some things off here like that. Online map, Discord, not my not my video player, that would be bad. You make everything here super fast. So as I said, I want to build um something for other people. So an, a nice little hotel. And I think that would be nice, you know, people you know get in, they have a they have a roof over their head if it gets dark with a crafting table maybe a load of food some super starting gear we're gonna need some food soon so we should try to get some seeds 
we have these nice big trees. So they're using a terrain mod to make more interesting terrain for people. And I don't know, this could be a nice little interesting shaded area. We have a hill to build into. Got some vines, some nice shade. I think this will look lovely. Yeah, I know it's all wood. It's as I said, it's been a long time. Um, so I'm hoping to just get a nice little series going with a little bit of feedback. Because uh, I'm one of those guys who I like feedback, even if it's kind of negative. You know, if people take the effort to say, "Hey, you know, speak up. It's hard to hear you." You know, I think you sound like crap. That's kind of fine. I don't want to encourage just straight griefing. But I do want to get some commentary, suggestions, things people want to see, do something that, for people to like. And immediately we will get rid of this monstrosity of a pick. Uh, I'm going to take some of this over here and just put it back theoretically also gives me seeds I'm gonna take this person's boat out like just griefer I guess I don't know maybe he wants his boat maybe he doesn't See, he's actually building something interesting. I wouldn't mind being next to him, I don't think. I don't really want to look at that. So I think we'll go a little further down. And just see what's over here. The other option is we could just make our own little island. That'll, that'll take a lot of work. But that wouldn't necessarily be out of the question. Got a little someone's cave house there. I know I'm gonna deal a little bit of this person's sugar cane. They'll never notice. They'll... How, how do I get... out? Oh, there we go. It's not really stealing. It'll grow back, right? That's that's how renewable resources work. I Actually, I really like the lily pads there. Since we're next to lily pads, can you grab them from in the boat? Yes, we can. Do we just run over them to make them work? Huh, look at that. Well, we can get that later. Um, I. <laughs> it's the boat out in the middle of nowhere. Hmm. I am actually thinking of building an island out there. Right, because it's going to be a little bit away. We can build trees and stuff like that. Uh, let me see if... Do trees... I'm going to give this guy his boat back. I'll even turn it around for him. See? I'm trying to help. I don't, no, let me let me out of the boat. Dang it! I was hoping they wouldn't grow normally. <laughs> I really hope we don't all have to sleep. It's gonna suck so much. My little. Oh yeah. Oh, and it starts. Can go over to this person's land. Oh, there we go. That skeleton. Dang it. Nope. Not working. Not working at all. I don't think he's following. That was 
was hoping to knock him into the sun and light on fire because he didn't have a helmet on, right? But. Say lovey. Oh, hey, look at all this land. They all plant for them, right? I'm helping. I'm being an, a helpful person until I waste their wheat. Oh, they have a mine. I'll leave that mine to them. Um. Hmm. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to start off growing a little communal farm. Just right here, right in the center of town. It's just going to be a basic farm. I see cows. Are those cows? No, that's fences. Right here in the center of town. Excellent. That sounds just like the friendliest thing you can possibly do. Let me just ask just in case an admin's on. Oh, no one, I'm not hearing any objections, right? I'm not. Okay, I'm just going to do this. Park. I am totally not prepared for this. I need to learn to think. Oh, so someone did and it was taken down. So, in that case, I am going to build a quick little chest. So that I can go get some dirt. That's not working. It's all stone. That looks hideous. Beef. I really hope Beef isn't just watching this. See, so make sure no one thinks I'm just griefing myself. Chop this down. Mm, I like my designs for sales better. Although I do like the thinness of those. Let's just build it over here. Oh, there's a lot of food over there. And it doesn't look like it's cut off from people. That's nice. Is that the fill work? Because, like, if people don't actually have very much. I don't want to take it and have it come back and then be angry. But this very much seems like it's here for people to take, and I didn't see any signs indicating otherwise, so. I need my. Did I leave a crafting table? Yes, I did. Just like a D bag. You can do it like right here. Got a little bit of a height variance, people can see it when they're walking up. Oh, that's the stuff. Okay. Oh. 
I'm just terrible at this game. You stop playing for like six months or a year, man. I tell you, you lose any skill you had. Get that burpy McDonald's mouth right now. And park. There we go. We're going to cut down these trees and replant them. Because we need the coal to go mining for iron to get the bucket. To chase the cat that ate the canary. <laughs> I thought I got a gold coin there. I was super confused. So, I've been mining. This isn't all of me, but a large part of it is. Because a lot of people have been mining. I found redstone down here. I have found coal now, which is nice. And I, I found gold, but I don't have iron. It's really frustrating. Because, like, I just want iron. I don't know what the best level to dig for iron is. Let's see. So we're a little higher up here, right? We're at 34. Yeah, let's just dig around, see if we can find some iron. It's been like five minutes of lurking. Just around and the problem that I have with cobblestone is when I move like that like with my pick like the wooden particles from the pick when they're rushing sideways look kind of yellowish and it makes me think that uh oh there's iron there because it's got kind of like that rusty orange color yeah I know I'm not strip mining or anything which would probably be more efficient but damn it ooh cave coal and I don't trust the leg Don't trust the leg. That wasn't too bad. Given the leg, that wasn't too bad at all. I don't have a dual screen setup, so I have two screens and my uh, OBS video recording software. Uh, <laughs> Paris. <laughs> oh. Um, my OBS is to the side of my. Uh, Minecraft window and so the problem is is that I keep seeing movement on the left side of the screen thinking like oh god something's over there oh where and it's like always to the left now this setup I need to work on my setup it has been a long time I just kind of wanted to jump in make a quick video saying there's excited for a series and I want to show something for it so I'm gonna go back turning this off I have a hotkey so I'll turn the video back on if uh, anything interesting happens. So, have a good day. S Why am I signing off? Jesus. I'm dumber than this coal. <laughs> God damn it. Right as I hid from a spider and turn on video. Lol. <laughs> yeah, it's you know one of the things I need to do about these videos is I need to learn to relax. I need to I need to learn to calm calm down. And uh, you're about to see how hard this is going to be to find my stuff. Uh, it wasn't over here. It's 
down here. Over here. No. No, it's not. Just further down. Find a spot. This looks right wrong. Yeah. This looks like the right cave. I'm just in the wrong part of it. And, uh, keep, yes, got string too, that's a nice little bonus. Yes, here's my stuff. Oh wow, I totally missed this cave. My, uh, okay, so we got everything. I mean, I didn't have anything, but we we have what we didn't have. We have we have what we have. Uh, except my iron pick. Why don't I have? Oh right, I had run out of my iron pick. I just came to quickly explore this when I ran into the spider. Because I'm going to come back. By iron pick, I mean stone pick, and by comeback, I mean, you know, relearn how to use my mind. Because I don't have wood for the stone. I can find my way back now. I can. I can. I think I can. I think I can. Right around, no, there's right around here because there's the central area. I feel like someone's playing a prank on me. That's where I found the coal. Where? Oh, oh god. Was it here? Yeah, it was here. It was, it was here. Yes. Yes. So, it is time to time time to I don't know where I am anymore okay so now I have to go back and find the iron which we can use which you can immediately smelt to get gold I think I went down this one yeah went down this one and it's not you it's you There's the gold. So this must no. No, 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 no. Yes. And the iron was over here, I think. Actually the coal's not what I need. I need the iron. Only the on. Giant. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna. It's gonna blow. Uh, no. Should we do this with a pick? Close. Okay. Okay. Calm down. See now I know why in beef in his videos he's always like, "Woo, calm down." Because, like, normally I don't care, because if I die, I die. If I go back, it might set me back. Kind of sucks. I feel like on a server with people, like, there's that social pressure of, like, oh, no, you got killed by a creeper. Um, one of the other things I want to do is I want to have a, a diorite reclamation project. And what I mean by that is diorite is kind of a hideous block, and Vintage Beef, who owns the server, really hates diorite. I mean, he's not the, the biggest hater of that, right? But he just, he really doesn't like it. And so... Ho oh. ho Okay. Um, and so I want to have, like, a contest where people bring in diorite, and the person with the most diorite wins a prize at the end of the month. <sighs> okay. We now have... Like 16 pieces, 14 pieces of iron. 
oh, we had 16 pieces of iron, but why have 16 pieces when you can have more? Uh, or less. I broke my ankles. That's not iron. Broken ankles is not iron. It's been so long, and I, I like... One of the things that I like about it being a long time since playing Minecraft is that the little stuff that you start to not care about, like, oh, it's just iron. You know, it becomes valuable again. You're like, oh, yeah, iron. And it, it refreshes the game. I go get some water, and we're going to have a good time. It's like... I broke the water, guys. Ooh. Oh no. Oh, it's a trap. It's a trap. Do so we get you there. You can dig another one over here. I like that we effectively need dirt to get water. That's so bass ass words that I can't even pronounce it. So I'm following the contours so that hopefully when we plant our seeds they will appear our green will appear uh, kind of like it's it's a little bit more part of the environment Virginia steel okay we'll leave sugarcane be and we have gravel, so let's make it a gravel path. Actually, what's the recipe? It's gravel and dirt. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. We lost my hoe. Isn't that just the way left go? Uh, that was one of the dumbest things I think I have ever stated. So, we have gotten some more trees. I replanted some of the bushes. Um, I had to leave for a few minutes, and when I came back, I just decided to get some work done. We have a little fountain over here for a little walkway. People can get seeds. I found gold! Seems like a nice community. I haven't really seen anything so far. People being negative. People are enjoying looking at what everyone's doing. That's just lazy. Recipes. Oh god, these hills. These hills with the slag. And the grass and the bushes look the same when you're hopping around like a mad idiot. Oh my gosh. Make it stop. Da, 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 da. One from you. Two from you. I'll clean this up. I won't even take it with me. I'll just clean it up. 
because that was my starting. I crafted that. It'd be there. Eh, screw you. Oh, there's another port around here somewhere. Wing, you got a lot of signs. Yeah. I get what they're going for, it doesn't work. Don't take. <laughs> Look at. Uh, apparently, I did not think that through. not too, looking too bad. This set of trees is horrendous. I'm trying to get trees to grow naturally decently. I think I need to move this tree. And this tree. Right now the path kind of cuts off the entrance a little bit. Should have got some vines. On Portal Quest 2018, and then I saw this. This is a serious bridge. I don't even know what for. I don't. You know, I should go to the person who has a glass castle in the sky. That seems like the kind of person that might have a portal. Dang it. This is not precarious at all. I have full confidence that the leg won't kill me. Might make me waste bread. Won't kill me. We've got netherrack. You have a portal. Uh, the problem is, is that there is this like wavy sound that combined when b with being near water kind of sounds like super far range of a portal so I know I said I'd be back in a minute but I saw this little unassuming house the big underground area maybe they have a portal Holy crap! Hope I'm not spoiling anyone's build. This is awesome. How did you dig this out? I mean, I know the game, the server's been on for like 20 hours, 30 hours, something like that. Oh my god. Saw water and I saw black. Dang it. Came all the way down here. There's nothing. I 
It looks cool. I like it. It is hard to navigate. We've got nether wart. Portal! What? There we go. Portal. I just have to remember where the frick I go. Glowstone! Glowy, glowy, glowstone. So what I'm going to do is take this little trail, go around the parrot farm. I'm going to create a little tent. like whack-a-mole only they don't die like they're supposed to no not there So it turns out that there was a portal directly next to spawn the entire time. And I probably quite literally walked by it. Okay folks, I decided to do one more change before I signed off for the day. And that is based off of the feedback people are giving me here, this is just too big, which I can understand. So my idea is to have this kind of be in the center of larger paths. That way when people are coming, they can get the extra signage, the extra directions. It'll look nice, it'll add some green, and then along the paths will be the smaller sign and light post. And this is actually inspired by uh, Siatsum Sempress and because I like aspects of this I think that this area combined with this is just too tall and clunky um, so by shortening it and turning the stairs outwards and upside down like I did on the main build it I think really is a lot smoother it's kind of like a little bottle rocket kind of thing and uh, now I am going to sign off for the day so if you liked I hope you if you like the video I hope you uh, will hit the like button or leave a comment honestly comments are the things I'm looking for most uh, not, not like buttons or subscriptions um, I mean if you want to by all means I, I would be very happy but uh, yeah, I just hope you liked it, and I will see you again probably in two to three days. So have a good one. Bye-bye.